Welcome back, y'all. Hope you enjoy this new video of the last three days I spent in the Everglades. Let's go. So realistically, python hunting this time of year doesn't really get good until later in the night. But um, I'm out here already, you know, sleeping in the Everglades for a few days, so I might as well make use of my time. Here I'm getting absolutely pelted by deer flies and uh, getting eaten alive. You can see them crawling all over my face. So I uh, decide to park the truck and go for a little swamp walk to see what I can get. It's a lot more likely that I would find pythons hunting the levee rather than hunting out here in the swamp on foot. But um, walking around out here is real nice. I enjoy it. It's kind of therapeutic. Listen to all the animal sounds and just kind of being by yourself. And it's peaceful. water snake it's a native snake species very common this one here is actually a uh, big fat and pregnant bit me a couple times but uh, that's what they do they got these long needle-like teeth for uh, catching fish and holding fish so sometimes their bites can be kind of nasty but uh, this is a small snake so I'll be all right I uh, Mess with it a little bit here and then I let it go on its way. Nice little snake. Well, I spotted one, and uh, it's a really gorgeous one. I'm uh, trying to do the old one-handed python catch trick here, recording for my Instagram story. Snake was uh, pretty feisty. Here it's taking some strikes at me, and uh, I take a strike at it. I miss its head the first shot. It bit a couple times, but that goes, unfortunately, sometimes. I don't know what happened. I was just being sloppy, I guess, kind of in a rush, not being careful. Um, I don't know what it was. This whole trip out here, I kept getting banged up. It seemed like my right hand kept getting bit by everything or stabbed. and It's sore as hell now, I'll tell you what. Feisty sound, bitch. Bag them up. They're moving. Little behind the scenes action for y'all. Yep. 
Yes, sir. Yeah. One more out. We're gonna keep moving. Bag this one up, see what else we can catch. This snake really was gorgeous. Uh, it must have just shed its skin. Its colors are so bright and beautiful. I love finding them like this. Uh, it'll make a beautiful wallet. Bagging them like this by yourself can be a little tricky, but uh, got some experience doing it, thankfully. I do this because I'm usually out here for three to five days at a time, and keeping dead snakes fresh isn't easy out here in the swamp. So, um, Also, too, catch capturing them alive is just the best way to do it. Uh, too much can go wrong trying to shoot them. Uh, a lot of snakes are lost like that. So fast forward to later in the trip, uh, I take a little break from python hunting and now I'm checking the limestone shelves for invasive fish. There's everything out here from Oscars to all kind of cichlids and uh, there's peacock bass and different things like that but the peacock bass they eat other invasive fish so um, I leave them alone and they are considered a game fish as well. It's also a lot of tilapia out here but the real problem is the Oscar fish in my opinion. I see them everywhere. They grow pretty big and they just eat everything. Here I'm scaring a cichlid into my net and uh, there's some alligators fighting. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I spotted two pretty big Oscar fish and uh, that's really what I'm looking for right now, so. Got him, son. All right, one in the net. Time to ice this guy. That's how it's done, son. That was the old trick or -roo move there. We're gonna put this guy out and uh, get back moving again. We gotta get some pythons. <sighs> gonna ice them real quick. Try not to get stabbed again. I just got bit by a python earlier too, so I'm kind of hurting. Alright, real quick and out. Gorgeous snake here. Here I came up on another beautiful python. Uh, this thing must have just shed its skin as well. It's a little bit bigger than the other snake, and uh, I'm it. happy about that. Man, is it pretty. 
decent sized snake too. Oh, feisty. This snake must have just shed. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I can see a piece of skin still on it. Snake's real aggressive. So it's pretty late in the night and uh, I'm tired. Uh, my hand is really sore. It's already been bit and stabbed. So I'm taking my time here, really waiting for my shot to grab the snake so it doesn't bite me in my hand. Usually I like to dance around the snake a little bit and um, have it strike. After they strike so many times, they tire out and they get a lot easier to work with. Get this guy in a bag. They're moving tonight, so we're gonna tr quickly try to get on the road. Oh yeah, and bag another. Seems like when they're moving, they're all moving together. You got me a little bit there. Man, this hand has taken a beating today, or tonight. Started off by getting bit by a python earlier. Normally I'm quick enough and I don't get bit, but... And then uh, captured an invasive Oscar fish and it spined me in my finger, all in this right hand. <sighs> My third day out here, I guess I'm getting a little tired, a little sloppy, but it happens. 